Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome here. My name is Eleanor Josefina and today for you guys I have a thrift haul. So I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys. Some items that are clothing items and some items that are like decorative like apartment things. So I will be showing you guys both of those things. But yesterday at Goodwill was nuts because of COVID, everything, all the Goodwills have been kind of like shut down. So now that they're opening back up, all of these people were like donating all their goods. So I was only planning on going into Goodwill for like a couple of things, but I ended up walking out with a lot of things. So without further ado, let's start out with the first clothing piece I have, which is actually this beautiful dress. This is like a beige linen dress and it actually has buttons all the way down the front of it, these little cute white buttons. And then it has these huge oversized pockets on the side of it. And I really like this dress because you can actually wear it on the shoulder or you can actually wear it off the shoulder. And I love the length of this because it kind of comes down to like my mid calf. And I absolutely love this for the summer, just the fabric and the way it looks. I think it's gonna be beautiful for summer. And this guy was $6.99. The second item I'm gonna show you guys, I'm also really excited about because it is a vintage um, Victoria's Secret kind of nightgown, kind of slip on little night dress. So I actually don't know if this is for sure vintage, but the tag itself looks like kind of one of their older tags. So I'm just assuming that is vintage. And this was $4.99, but it is a night shift dress and it has this silky feeling to it and it also has like a v-neck lace front and then kind of lace around the back top part of this little dress and I'm actually planning on doing a thrift flip with this one instead of having it be a night dress night gown I'm going to turn it into a tank top and kind of tuck it into my jeans. The next two clothing items are both pants and the first one are these kind of high waisted jeans. So these jeans are actually boys jeans. They're actually in the size 16 and they're from the company Cat and Jack, which I'm pretty sure is a children's brand or like a junior's brand. But I found these in the men's section and the great thing about them being kind of like kids pants or junior's pants is that they have an elastic um, band all the way around kind of the like waist area. So when I first tried these on, they were too big, but then I kind of pulled the elastic and I, it kind of like cinched in um, the waist. So now they're like high waisted pants. They're not intentionally supposed to be high waisted pants, but I'm gonna be wearing them as high waisted pants. Also the backside, it's just really, really plain um, on the backside, which I really, really like. The only thing um, that I think I will have to do, which I will be doing, I think in my thrift flip, is that I'm gonna have to take these in a little bit or, or taper them in because they're just a little bit too boxy and because obviously they're made for a boy. So they're just a little bit too boxy for me, for my liking. So I'm just gonna have to, I think, tailor them in, taper them in just a little bit and then I'll probably end up rolling up the, the pant bottoms of these. But they're basically a perfect fit in the backside. They're a perfect fit now in the waist section. So I'm super, super excited to start wearing these. Who knew I'd fit into boys 16 pants? So the second pair of pants are actually um, capris and they are like a white linen cotton blend. Um, and I love them because they are high waisted and they have these deep pockets in the front of the pants. And then on the back of the pants, they have these cute little pockets on the back side. But I love that there is elastic because it just cinches in your waist. But I'm also thinking about including this in my kind of thrift flip because I want to do something a little bit artsy with these, um, whether it's making like a cool drawing or mural on them, or my boyfriend suggested that I tie dye them. So I thought that was a really, really good idea. And these were $4.99. And also those jeans I showed a little bit earlier, those were also $4.99. So now I'm gonna show you guys what I got for kind of my apartment kind of decorating items. The first thing I bought was this huge wicker basket. And this was $6.99, which is a steal because if you guys don't know, um, wicker baskets are super really expensive. And this is huge and it's literally in mint condition, but I absolutely love it because of its size, but also because it has these leather straps on either side of it. But a lady had this in her cart like the entire time I was in the store for like an hour and then at the last minute um, when she was checking out, she said she didn't want it anymore. So I snatched it up as you do. But I think I'm gonna put this in my bedroom and I'm either gonna put um, some storage in it or I thought about turning this into my hamper and kind of making like maybe a cottony mesh interior lining for it. Um, so just none of my clothes like catch on any like the wood pieces. So I thought about doing that and I think that's probably what I'll end up doing with this. But I just thought it was a good find, mint condition and it's just ginormous. The next little gem I found was this guy. Not really sure what this is. It could be a fish 
bowl. I'm gonna use it as a plant pot. And this was $4.99. I'm also gonna put this in my bedroom. And I am making a bedroom remake over video. I'm in the process of that. So this will be featured in that video, but I'm gonna put a plant in it. And then I think we're gonna make a plant hanger and then hang it up in my bedroom. So this next item is also a plant pot. Um, well, kind of, kind of a plant pot because it says wine cooler on the front of it, but we're just gonna use it as a plant pot. And this was $4.99. And it's kind of this vertical um, terracotta plant pot. I just thought it was a really unique piece um, that I just thought was a little bit quirky and a little bit different. You don't usually see plant pots shaped this way. But my plan with it is to put it in my bedroom and either put a plant in it or put some like long dried grass in it. Not quite sure, but I absolutely love how quirky and cool this is. Next thing you guys I bought was this cute little stool and this was $6.99. And I just think it's the cutest little stool ever. I really had no reasoning to buy this, but I just thought it was the cutest thing. And it's super cheap and it's literally in mint condition. And it is like solid wood. This is a heavy little cute stool. But I am planning on using this in my either bedroom or living room area. I'm not quite sure yet, but I think I'm gonna put like an oversized um, pot in it and either put like a big plant in it or um, an indoor tree or something like that But I just thought this was the cutest little stool and if I don't put a plant on it I will definitely put it in my kitchen as a little like stepping stool The last thing I have for you guys for like a decorating item is this wood plate and this was 99 cents This is also in like perfect condition and I am either planning on doing one of two things with this I'm either going to use this as like a little tray and put a plant on top of it I know you guys I just love my plants. I can't help it. I just I love plants, I don't know what to tell you. Or I'm gonna hang it up on the wall like this. I don't really quite know how I'm going to do that, but either way, I just thought this was just a cute piece and I didn't wanna pass it up. So the next four items are things that are like miscellaneous and beauty items. So the first miscellaneous thing I have for you guys is this um, picture frame and this was $2.99. It also has a little um, Bible quote in it, which I thought was actually really cute, but I probably won't be keeping this. I will probably be putting a, like a white background or a cream or beige background in this picture frame and I actually had something like this um, a while ago and I actually broke it but I actually use this for my painting and what's really nice about using something like this as a painting palette is that if your paint dries on top of your on top of this on top of glass you can actually use a razor and kind of like shave it off if that makes sense um, because sometimes when people use other materials it, the paint doesn't come off as easily. So things that are glass or picture frames are really really nice to use as painting palettes. Um, you can also just get a normal picture frame with a frame around it, but those can be kind of hard to clean because when you're trying to clean off the paint, sometimes it gets stuck in the picture frame itself. So that's why I love these that don't have like the frame around it. And I just, I love mine that just broke and I was just on the lookout for one of these. So I'm so happy I found it. These last three items are all beauty items and I don't know if every Goodwill does this or if these are just Minnesotan Goodwills that do this. I'm not quite sure, but anything that Target does not sell, whether it's clothing or beauty items or decorating items, it doesn't matter. Anything that Target can't sell on clearance, they will actually give the goodwill to sell. So they're brand new items that are just from Target that Target could not sell. And the first thing I bought that was originally from Target was this Sea Salt Refresh Hairspray. This has like a really nice all natural scent to it. And it's not just a hairspray, it is also a texture spray that also has dry shampoo properties. So that's why I really like this because it's kind of like a three in one and it smells super natural. And if you guys can see this, it was originally $14.99 at Target, but I got it for $2.99. And just for reference, that is what I have sprayed in my hair right now. It's supposed to make your hair a little bit like beachy and beachy waves. So I really, really love this. The next beauty item I have is this facial cleansing oil. And this was originally $14 at Target, but I got it for $1.99. And the scent of it is lavender, rosemary, and lemongrass. So it has a very like all natural, um, beautiful light scent to it. Okay guys, the last thing I got for you is also originally from Target and this was $15, $14.99 for this little pot of moisturizer. So I got this for $2.99, but this is the ultra hydrating facial moisturizer. And that is so true. This is super moisturizing because it is like a thick cream, but the scent of it is coconut and I absolutely love wearing the scent of coconut in the summer. I know that might seem a little bit weird, but it just reminds me of like 
tanning oil and I don't know. So I was really, really happy to find this brand new at um, the Goodwill. That is it you guys for my thrift haul. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. Um, I do have two videos that are coming out quite soon. One of them again is the bedroom remake over that I'm kind of in the process of filming and doing right now. That video might be out in two or three weeks because it's going to take me a little bit of time to put the pieces together and I'm actually making a lot of pieces myself. I'm actually sewing some things. I'm actually making some wall decor myself. So be on the lookout for that video. But I also have another video coming out um, and that is my thrift flips. But I will have both of those videos coming out within the next like week, maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks. Um, I'm not really quite sure, but be on the lookout for those. But I think that is it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. It'd mean the world to me if you guys could give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you'd like. Um, but I think that is it, you guys. I love you guys all so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hate this. Back then they would laugh when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists. So one day I'll be stopping.